Pierre, you're the convener of the network on educational leadership. That's right. Can you tell me, what's the main idea that brings people to your network? Well, I think the connecting tissue is the passion and interest into understanding various facets you know, of educational leadership and management. Uh, schools, kindergartens, universities, these are all highly complex educational institutions. And there's leadership happening you know, at many levels of each of these institutions. And um, them being educational institutions also means that it's not about classic business leadership, there's a pedagogical component to it as well. And that brings people to our network to understand more about that, to discuss research about it, to present research about it, and to hopefully you know, find out things that will help these educational institutions you know, um, work even better in the future. So, so what's, what's the kind of topics you're discussing then? Right. Well, um, there's various kinds of leadership, uh, things like instructional leadership, a distributed leadership perspective. Um, there's various levels of leadership that are being discussed. There's um, often also uh, discussion and research into um, how leadership connects with other facets. For example, student performance or well-being and motivation of teachers, these kinds of things. And then how does that, your network and all those topics and research right. you're talking about, how does that contribute to European educational research? Right. Well, we are basically a big kaleidoscope of Europe and the world in a way. We um, have various international studies, you know, that are presented at our, our network. And it's really one of the only places in Europe, if not the only place, where all these European voices can come together and exchange. And not only uh, Europe, although I will say that you know, Europe is best represented, but also countries outside of Europe contribute to um, the discussion. And then what does your network value then in terms of educational research and how it benefits society? Our research is concerned with supporting educational institutions. Uh, we believe that if you understand educational leadership, a lot of the processes around it, let's say for school teaching and learning, um, you will be able to do them a whole lot better. We, we believe in this organizational perspective, or many of us uh, do. So we try to do research that really benefits ultimately um, everyone involved in education. And if we take a school perspective, then especially, hopefully, uh, children and their learning opportunities. Okay, and then you know that ERA has an overall mission statement. Yes. How do you relate to that mission statement? Well, we are very much concerned with high quality research. We are concerned with uh, discussing it critically and also, you know, uh, bringing it sort of to the forefront, um, giving it a platform and attention, but we're also concerned with how that research um, can affect society in a positive way. And on top of that, we also um, try to cultivate a, a mindfulness of context. So we want to have um, contributions that speak from a local or regional perspective, but with a European dimension to it, so um, that really all European countries and beyond can engage in our findings. So, within ERA, as you probably know, there's 33 networks. Yes. Now, what makes yours unique? First of all, we're the only network concerned with educational leadership. Um, additionally, we are one of those networks where this core topic cuts across so many other topics. Um, and so, I, I think we are a hub for um, many of the other um, networks to connect to. Okay. And is this something, think back over the last few years of right. your network, is there something you're really proud of that you've done? Mm. Oh, there, there are a few things. One thing that comes to mind is that we are a diverse network. Um, we have uh, contributions um, from so many countries in Europe, in, including, you know, Eastern European countries. Um, we have a very diverse um, uh, group of co-conveners, they are highly dedicated, highly passionate. And we have been uh, a constant among the top 10 networks in, in terms of size and you know, numbers uh, of proposals. So I think one of the highlights really is the fact that, that we have been able to 
be an inclusive network that has remained um, a major one and a relevant one. You said that you're a big network and you get a lot of proposals. So, when a proposal comes in for doing paper at the conference, what are you looking for? Well, first of all, we're looking, uh, you know, for rigor, um, uh, for for quality. Um, whether it's a conceptual uh, piece or more theoretical piece or or an empirical study, you know, it, it needs to it needs to have a quality. And if that criterion is met, then um, ideally it will. Um, have an interesting finding, it will have uh, something that furthers the discussion, it will have something that speaks from whatever context it's from, but to a wider context. Those are things that we're uh, very interested in. We're always um, uh, interested in uh, new and emerging voices, of course. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and here, here's a personal question for you. What do you like about ECR? Whew, where to start? Um, I think it's one of those conferences where you can easily make friends, make connections, be who you are as a scholar um, and, and meet new people. It's in that sense sort of a, a bit intimate and, and has a family vibe to it. And at the same time, it's a big conference. We, we have thousands of people. And I will say this, it's also one of those conferences that for so many years has been running so smoothly. You know, the organization is always top-notch. Um, so we can really focus on exchanging, on, on really understanding and learning new things because we're not bogged down by organizational issues. And my very last question, is there anything else you'd like to tell us today? Yeah, um, only one more thing. Please uh, check us out. We um, have a newsletter in between conferences and during conferences we usually always have two parallel sessions and so we're always happy to meet new people and um, to work together with others. So, yeah, come check us out. Well, Pierre, thank you very much for coming and talking to us today. My pleasure, thanks.